Hi again, I'm Susie Crash, and welcome to my Susie Crash YouTube drum channel. I want to tell you a little bit about the drum lesson I'm going to give that has funk and disco beats. When I was about 19, I moved to Boston, and I joined my first all-female band called Good Question. There was four of us when we started, and then it turned into a trio. Uh, a power trio actually and we played the Boston scene we played the channel TT the Bears uh, Chets everywhere Jacks um, and that's where I actually met a really cool sound man named Mickey and Mickey kind of gave us girls the total life experience um, he took care of us really well nobody would say anything about his girls so it's always good to have a friend like that in the music scene but when I join good question we all lived together it was just like the monkeys so we lived in a three-room apartment we had a practice space down in the basement and i remember for months just practicing to james brown songs we had a great double album i also when i was in boston i would freelance in the blues scene there was a place called the 1369 club in cambridge that's where all the blues players would go down and mickey actually brought me down there and introduced me to the blues scene which i'll tell you a little bit later really shaped my life and i played with some pretty heavy hitters in new york city and in london and everything so i was 19 in boston and I was playing along to the funk records and everything. So um, I really, really liked R&B and soul and everything. And flash forward about 30, 40 years now, I'm playing in a 70s tribute band. And what the 70s band does, it's a lot of funk. It's a lot of disco. Uh, it's cool in the gang. Like the song Car Wash, Donna Summer songs. So the lesson I'm going to teach you is very basic funk beats, very basic disco beats. And I start out really, really slow. And I'm going to show you right on the camera's going to be on just the snare, the bass and the hi hat, because that's really all you need to do these beats. Um, and basically, I always had a knack of I could memorize songs. I could hear them once or twice and really remember what the drum fills were. Um, when it got a little more intricate, I'd actually write out charts the way I would understand them. So I'd follow along to a chart that had the exact fills, the exact cymbal hits, and everything. So, again, just listening to the James Brown album when I was 19 and then flash forwarding th 30 years to actually play in a 70s band and we got all dressed up and wore the really cool you know shiny outfits and everything um that's a really fun scene to be in the tribute bands are great because there's always an audience you can play your favorite decade you can play your favorite artist um and it's a show and I think I always loved from when I was growing up all the bands I ever was in you got dressed up you look like a musician. You didn't just wear jeans and a t-shirt. You know, you, you look the part. And that's what I can't stress enough. If you are trying to get into a band, if your band is trying to get booked, you have to look like a band. You have to stand out. You can't just say, oh, well, uh, we're the most amazing musicians in the world. The, the club owner doesn't care. The audience doesn't care. It's how many people keep coming back. So I hope you really like my disco and funk lessons. This is Susie Crash signing off. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.